welcome back to the channel with gracious right here on gracious reactions with another video guys i've been off your screens for a very long time it's been a whole lot in my life charlie i've been busy of late i've been doing a lot of work and charlie it's a whole lot so i can see everything here so that's it uh, i'm back again on your screen thanks to god and today's video is probably sponsored by navantrix consort right on your screens if you are a nurse in ghana here and you want to work in the uk you can uh, contact navantrix consort look no further there's no fraud there's no lack of uh scam no this is legit from navantrix consort that's it let's get straight into the video i got a video here for you guys I don't know what the content of the video is, but I would like us to delve into this video real quick. Let's go. Hi guys. <laughs> so recently I put up a post or a picture on my page and the picture talked about women being more concerned finding out if their partner is unfaithful rather than finding out if he is happy in the very first place. And a lot of ladies reacted. They said, no. This guy does not talk to us. He would rather talk to every other person than talk to us and tell us what the problem is. If we even ask, they will not reply. You know, and I told a few that we have a part to play in this. And of course, they don't believe me, but that's why I'm here this, this morning. That's why I'm here now. Let me, let me, let me. Wow, I've, I've, Charlie, there's a key, this thing here, we cut the character of women here, which this lady just, uh, uh, Hamid, he said women are more interested in finding out whether their partners or their husbands are cheating than making them happy or than finding out that uh, their husbands are happy. Wow. Let me explain something to you. Men are one of the simplest creations that we have on this earth. Very simple. Very, very simple. Forget their whole matter. Yes, they have their issues and all, but when it has to do with the the woman and the man, the man is very simple. Women have problems. Women have issues. Women, we are so complex and very difficult to understand. But if you take your time, men are not that hard to, to figure out. This is what <laughs> this is what we have been preaching for so so long. Like seriously, but a lot of ladies don't want to understand us because. Uh, they feel like we are attacking them, uh, we are women haters and stuff. No, this is coming from a fellow woman. Let's go. On a very serious note. Okay, let me even start from this. Take for example, men are people that like their things straight to the point, direct. Sharp. If you ask a man, what are we having for dinner? The man will tell you, we're having beans for dinner. If you ask a woman, what are we having for dinner? Now, the answer I gave you for the man is what all men will just tell you yeah beans straight to the point Sharp. we are gone straight to the points for women majority mm -hmm. listen i did not say all because this is the exception like this woman is just too good majority majority meaning there's an exception so if you're not part of it you don't need to be triggered see you know how to argue rubbish majority of women We'll start by saying, you know that yesterday we had this thing. And day before yesterday, we also had this one, you know, I found. So I decided that we are having too much starch. Mm? So I now had to go get some beans to make a little bit of moi moi. And I have fish on the side with um, some vegetables, you know. I just want us to do more of this. Simple question. What are we having for dinner? Look at the paragraph she's writing. Hey, who? Hey, who? Papa, papa, papa. What? are we madam having What's for that? dinner communication there's this thing there's this thing so you see sometimes men because they like their things straight to the point they don't have the they don't have the time they don't have that patience to wait for you to be beating around the bush yeah. it's stressful you're stressing them they're, they're, they're messing with their mind you know so they, sometimes they would rather avoid some communication with us because they don't want that long thing they don't want it especially when they are stressed they've had a stressful day they've come back from work tired and they don't want that long thing they just want to rest that's one number two misunderstanding misunderstanding and misinterpretation of what they say you have a dress in your house 
you wear this dress all the time almost every you barely enter the house from that's the easiest free thing you just throw your body and you know women you know how we are that free thing is always really really free indeed big sometimes all over the place just there and because of how much we wear it all the time yeah. the rate at which we clean it up or wash it is not so yes. regular yeah. we can wear it for like three days or four days so we wash it sometimes you take it to, to the kitchen so this thing it can you know bring us some funny smell and then a man you one day you wear it and your, man, your, your husband just looks at him like honey i don't like this dress straight to the point like boom i don't like this dress one time and then the woman automatically let me don't be see listen to me oh what did the man say i don't like this dress what did the woman hear i do not like you today Bam. wow this woman is telling us how ladies think uh-huh how they interpret words from men look at what the man said uh i don't like this dress but in her mind the man is telling her i don't like you today wow what an 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 I can't say an explanation yeah it's an eye opener i don't like you today bam wahala don't bust she will squeeze her face she will begin to give attitude she will begin to be angry she will begin to squeeze she will begin to do like this because what a woman would have said to the man is honey you know that this clothes you wear it every time and it's not looking old see this place has some small hole and now because of how much you wear it's not looking that even when we wash it it still doesn't look clean because it's old throw it away now and find another new house clothes so this is how we would have said it but this is how they said it straight to the point and we heard it a different way entirely which will now cause problem when the woman now start to squeeze her face throw the bang the door sigh walk two or three as she's passing around <laughs> honey what is it nothing <laughs> What is, <laughs> <laughs> what is it nothing charlie that thing gets you think you know it gets you thinking but there is something there's nothing but you are frowning there's nothing but you are frowning hmm. uh god have mercy on men because even you you know that that clothes is not nice you're angry with the way he told you and then later on after a very long time you will now finally decide to tell the man that this is the reason why and why did he say after this thing must have dragged and now caused more problem like maybe in two weeks yeah, yeah. you will now tell him later later that it was that thing that he just said simple i don't like this yeah. dress so you see why ladies hold a lot of malice i tell you they hold malice they keep record of evil a lot men talk about it once and that's all we are gone we are we are we are on we have moved on but i don't know ladies keep malice a lot uh -huh. and it's so so bad because you you have a quarrel you have a misunderstanding something that is let's say a year old six months old three months old she will go and bring that thing back and men we hate that thing we hate it we hate it a lot so if you're a woman and you're watching me just limit it because it it kills your husband yeah sometimes some men would rather just keep quiet than open their mouth and say what is making them sad yeah. or not so happy because they yes. know that you will misinterpret you will turn it around it will become a big problem and this is what is killing a lot of men before women because the thing is hurting you you don't like what she does and you you, you know that when you say it she will get angry and start giving attitude so you just keep quiet and suffer and it's killing a lot of men it's very very bad very 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 bad so if you're a man try hard to to to, to also uh find a way of saying it and then uh for peace to reign let's go big one do you understand so i'm trying to give you from i'm trying to make it as innocent as possible this is how simple it is but because of this small small thing that happened over time it makes these people scared to talk you be you you turn that safe space that space that safe space your home is supposed to be into a judgmental zone so he's scared he's he's careful yeah. before you do anything he has to think and think of yes. how this thing will play yeah. out i hope she will not get angry yeah. i hope it will not turn out like this yeah. and then before i go the last one where you will make this man to stop in fact i will not say that one now i'm going to come back for that because i don't want the time to go too long this are just a little soup. just i think i should just peep into what she wanted she wanted to say this thing eh, it keeps a lot of men from coming back home after work 
this attitude of ladies it keep them away from coming back home like uh, when they close from work because they know that hey i'm going to the house i'm like there's tension in the house yo they feel uncomfortable when they are around but when they go outside with their friends oh they laugh when they go to work they're excited but when it's time it's four o'clock those who work from nine to five when it's four o'clock heading to five and they're about to close then the man becomes very sad because he knows that Charlie, me coffee, I'm going home, and then Charlie, I'm going to face this lady, and it it it's just mind busting. Let's go. More reasons why this man will talk to people outside. I will not talk to you. Yeah. In the next video about this topic yeah. I'm going to be making, I will tell you how this attitude scatters messes up your home. <laughs> Have a lovely day. So that's it guys that's the end of the video and i hope you have learned a lot if you're a lady watching me change your ways and if you're a guy also uh the bible t told us something that we should know how to handle uh, women because they are weak in certain ways so let's seek the wisdom of god in handling uh things concerning women and stuff so guys that's it this is just a test run video for my equipment and things that we have upgraded by the grace of god so looking forward to another episode See you guys in the next episode. Peace. Shalom. I love you all. <laughs>